2018 is going to be a, a good year. Employers added 223,000 jobs last month. And Capito says more than 1 million have been added since the tax reform bill. Unemployment is also down to 3.8 percent, the lowest since 2000. In letters and meetings everywhere around town, I've heard from West Virginians who are feeling the positive effects of tax reform. Our small businesses have been able to expand and hire new employees. Wednesday was a big day at the White House as President Trump signed the massive opioid bill into law. This is a big milestone. It's a conglomeration of a lot of great ideas, some of which are working in West Virginia. There's no one silver bullet when it comes to the epidemic of opioids. But one thing is for certain, I and we will keep fighting. We will fight back against those who are bringing deadly drugs into our communities. We will fight for those struggling with addiction and seeking treatment. We will fight for the children, the children who are caught in the middle, and we'll fight for every other person who is affected by this crisis. Well, efforts continue to expand broadband and internet access throughout the state of West Virginia. Closing the digital divide is something that we're all very passionate about. The latest numbers that have come out have shown that we've made steps. I'm working every day on this in a bipartisan way. It's, it's essential for our economy, our health care, education, all of the things that are uh, in, the, in, in a new economy. Senator Capito along with South Carolina Senator Tim Scott are making a number of stops in Huntington today. It's located in what's known as an opportunity zone. Senator Shelley Moore Capito has joined the push to rebrand the New River Gorge. Already regained thousands of jobs in the coal industry over the last year and a half. One of our senators is working to instill confidence in young girls around the state. President Trump recently signed into law the Childhood Cancer Star Act. As a, as a mother and a grandmother and for my Cancer Crusade kids from West Virginia, thank you. As chairman of the Homeland Security Appropriations Subcommittee, I had the opportunity to travel to California and Texas to learn how Congress can better support the men and women defending our borders. Senator Shelley Moore Capito introduced a bill to rename the NASA facility in Fairmont after Katherine Johnson. A U.S. Senator from West Virginia is working to help attract new workers to the state while alleviating student loan debt. President Trump making his sixth visit to the Mountain State. Senator Shelley Moore Capito traveled to Charleston with President Trump on Air Force One. It's also no secret West Virginia, we've had some tough times. We really have. But we're in a sense of renewal and great optimism. We really do have an incredible story to tell.